Welcome to www.learnquickbooksfree.com. That's right. This is where you get to learn QuickBooks for free. Howdy, folks. We are back. Received another question from Bambi. Love the name. My dear. You guys get it? Bambi's a deer. My dear. All right. So uh, you guys are no fun. Anyways, her question is, I, I'm pretty sure it's a woman, Bambi, unless there's a guy named Bambi, Mr. Bambi. <laughs> I need some help resolving a reconciliation issue. Our business uses a cash register, and some days the register doesn't balance with the sales. Sometimes we are short, sometimes over. This causes a problem when reconciling, yada, yada, yada. So basically, you just need to know what, what to do uh, to reconcile the books when it's a little bit off between the cash register and the actual cash. So let's go to QuickBooks and take a look at this. So we are in QuickBooks. When under chart of accounts, I already created a new account called Cash Register, which is an accounts receivable. So that's basically your long story short is that you're going to do uh, journal entries against the bank and against the accounts receivables. Obviously, if you got more money, it's a negative. If you got less money, it's a positive. So uh, let me show you how we do one of these journal entries. And here we are under Make General Journal Entries. I already kind of filled it out for you. So the first line is bank. The second line is that cash register account that we created for accounts receivables. Um, and over here, I had to create a customer called cash register customer as a customer because we're doing an AR transaction. And so it's very simple. If you got less money than you're supposed to, then you're going to credit that amount to the bank and debit it to the accounts receivable. So let's see what kind of effect that happens. So if I hit save and new, and I go over here to my chart of accounts, you will see that cash register now has a AR balance of 500 bucks, which means $500 is owed to you because $500 was short, okay? Let's say the next month comes around. Of course, you could do this on a daily basis, but I'm giving you an example right now. Let's say the next month comes around and well, let's do bank once again. And now we're going to debit 200 bucks. That means you got $200 extra this time around. Okay. So we're going to credit it this time. And if I hit save and close and I'm back to my chart of accounts, now you'll see it's down to 300. Why? 500 minus 200, yes, 300. And that's it. So whatever amount you're short or over at the end of the month, do that transaction against the checking account that you're trying to reconcile. And when you go reconcile it, you'll see that $500 or that $200 that we did. And that's basically how you adjust and how you keep tabs of that. So just keep dumping it onto one account and hopefully eventually kind of zeroes out. And that's it, you guys. If you have any more questions, you know who to holler at. That's right, your boy right here. All right, you guys, next time. And that concludes this lesson. Uh, you can visit our website at www.learnquickbooksfree.com to watch more videos.